With formalities over, the state government has once again come under fire over the controversial $100 million land sale at Gilman. Independent MP John Darley has moved to establish an inquiry into the deal. The Premier insists there's nothing to hide. The government begins day two of sitting Parliament with a happy snap. <laughs> but hostilities quickly resume during question time under attack over the $100 million land sale at Gilman. Why was land at Gilman sold to Adelaide Capital Partners without going to tender? Because it was in the interests of the state of South Australia. <laughs> Stephen Marshall isn't the only one dissatisfied with that response. Independent MP John Darley pushing for an upper house inquiry into the exclusive arrangement. We understand that there, are, there, there were other people interested in that land. If so, they would be among witnesses, including former Renewal SA board members, to front a select committee. Premier Jay Weatherall, who today opened a new design centre to support local entrepreneurs, insists no money has changed hands. It's only a question of uh, investigation of an option to purchase. We have nothing to fear from that inquiry. Indeed, I think they might find a few surprises when they call some witnesses along. But the Premier went even further than that and warned that a select committee could jeopardise the current arrangement and potentially other deals in the future. The evidence is in the past they've behaved themselves very, behaved very recklessly. We need to know that we're getting a, a fair price for the land. Meanwhile, the Greens' Tammy Franks has reintroduced a bill for fairer access to compensation for CFS volunteers who develop cancer as a result of firefighting. Eddie Godfrey, Nine News.